Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. Fam, so let's talk about my dude. I know some people gonna be like, man, you drift. Man, you from a hometown, y'all. Gotta bear with me. He is from a hometown. And he's a Raven. Drafted as a Raven. And we're talking about James Brosha. Now, he ain't getting thrown to. <laughs> he ain't getting thrown to. Is he? I don't know if he's in a dog hell. But anyway, let's just get to this straight clip. My boy Steve Smith. Senior. Let's see what he said in on Club Shay Shay. Yeah. Bateman can play. You okay. know what I'm yeah, oh, oh yeah, I think you can play. Porsche, I mean Porsche, I, I can tell you right now, Porsche is a dynamic wide receiver. He's working on his game. I've seen him. He, he's a guy that because of the draft picks didn't play a lot last year, was a healthy scratch. Right. I, I've seen him make some catches in practice and training camp. I believe he's their most well rounded wide receiver on the on, on the squad. Now, I believe Steve Smith has no reason to hype James Prochet up. But I know some of us like, man, he just kill it in practice. He did it there. And I'm like, yeah, but is it that Hobbs don't like him? Is it Greg Roman just ain't really feeling him? He don't have that connection with Lamar. It's got to be something because Steve Smith, he's hit on a few wide receivers. And one of the top, top wide receivers that when he was drafted, he said that dude is special and that dude wasn't getting a lot of opportunities like he is now because the coaching staff started to give him the ball more, started to help uh, – Digress plays to give him the ball more. And Greg Roman's offense is not a wide receiver friendly offense. So that makes me think is he? Is he that dude? Like, I'm not saying like that dude. I'm like saying, is he right? Is Steve Smith right about James Prochet? Because we Ravens fans, we would hate to see this man go to another team and clown. And we will all be pissed. It happened in Ozzie Newsom's reign with Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith had no reason. No reason to go out there and be an eagle. And then he won a Super Bowl. I ain't mad at that. But they let him go. And Quan Bowden. He was one and drafted as a Raven. Obviously. But they let him go. So, and then you see what Hollywood, Hollywood complains that this system ain't really for me, a.k.a. wide receiver. And he went to a system that is for the wide receivers. And you see, rent like it ain't nothing. Yards like it ain't nothing. And that's before D-Hop, before Robbie Anderson came. D Hot was still suspended. So he was holding it down. But that just makes you think. Do the Ravens or have the Ravens have had weapons in the past and in the present? That this system of Greg Roman that's built for Greg Roman. Is this system messing up the possibilities of what we could have? This this inner field is built for passing. You can't, defensive backs have, they got to be A plus 101%. Not, you just tug on the jersey a little bit. Sometimes it'll be a pass in the field. It is built for that. But we're technically still running the ball first. Could it be the Ravens don't believe Lamar is that dude? Now, I know he's overthrown some passes. But he's still a lot of quarterbacks overthrow a lot of passes. Patrick Mahomes throws, overthrows a lot of passes. 
Oh, Brady, even though he like 79 right now. Brady. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Josh Allen. Herbert. They all throw over pass. Now, Lamar's throwing a lot more this season. But he used to be the leader. So, them hard ones, like he threw that one to Mark Andrews. That was on nine. But then he overthrew. You know, he overthrew him a couple of times, too. Overthrew Devin DeJanae. But, you know, Devin DeJanae was like, what, 5'3", something like that. Um, but, so, it's just, it just questionable. When he said that, I was like, hmm. Hmm. Because I'm a Pro Shea fan. Even though we haven't seen him. And I know some people are like, man, he's just not that guy. But it makes you think, when have the Ravens ever just given him just, you know what, I want to give a scheme just literally for a wide receiver. That was in Flacco. That scheme, but they didn't hook up Flacco with wide receiver. That was in their prime. That was under 30 years old. But... <sighs> I don't know. It's just. And Harbaugh said in the press, you know, in the presser, um, he's going to be on the field more. Um, what is uh Yeah, you know, he's going to get more opportunities. I haven't heard the man complain at once. But with Harb saying that, that lets me know. He ain't probably ain't going to get no opportunities. So Harb is a bona fide 100% liar. <laughs> If we see Sunday, when we see that man out there, I think, matter of fact, hold on, matter of fact, while I'm thinking about this, let me see something. I remember one game, James Prochet, that one game, he cooked them. He was cooking. And what team was that? He cooked one team. Let me see. Do, 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 do. So James Prochet has one reception, seven yards for this year. And I think he played three or four games. Now, the last time this dude had some shine was last year, December um, 26, where the Ravens lost to the Bengals. He had seven reception, eight targets, 76 yards. But then also, um, when they played Denver in October, he had five receptions, 74 yards. Then they kind of make them disappear. Now, that was last year. So, we're going to see. We're going to see if he's going to actually get his chance to play. Um, Because I highly doubt it. I highly, I, I, like I said, he's from, he from my town. He's from my hometown. I support everything he does. He does some stuff uh, that don't make the news. That's pretty good for the neighborhoods and everything. But, yeah. Um... Him and Wallace does a phenomenal job. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So Harb said he's gonna get more playing time. I highly doubt it. I hope hoping I'm wrong, but I highly doubt it. So uh yeah. Y'all tell me what you think. Is Steve Smith speaking the truth? Um, cause he has no reason to just boost up this man like he what what does he get out of it? You know, he uh, he was there at the practices seeing them cook. But, I don't know. I don't know. So, y'all tell me what you think. Hit the like, subscribe, and share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.